Terra Classic has still been stabilizing here for the last couple of days, but will that change here pretty soon? What is the next big move here for Terra Luna? Let's go and check it out. So here we are, core market cap, right on the market cap here for Terra Luna Classics, based at $640 million. The volume here did go down again, we're at 26% down, or $32 million here for the volume, and the price of one single token is at 0 0.00097. So Terra Classic, it's still pretty much stable. Stabilizing, but the biggest problem that I'm seeing is the is that the volume is going down. But it's pretty normal to see the volume going down when we are just trading to the sideways. So we're waiting for a massive move here to happen here too. Terra Classic. But first, let's go to some awesome news. It says here, Terra Rebels as United and Vibrant Team continues to work hard to drive forward the delivery of version 21. We achieve this through our diversity, inclusiveness, and freedom of speech, which creates rich and open discussion. So, democracy and transparency is our DNA. So, there you go. Terra Rebel Team still working on the newest version of Terra Luna, but this time, TFL will help them to actually implement the code on the blockchain and that's absolutely amazing. So like I said before, pretty much we're going to see this all happen in September. So we're waiting for September, like mid-September for things to happen. So we still have to be patient for everything to be done and once it is done, then we're going to see the fruits of these oh. The fruits of the labor that the Terra, the Terra Rebel team has been doing for the last couple of months here. Now, I have this post here saying, huge news. TerraSwap is working for is working for USTC and Luna Classic. A huge set for both Luna Classic and USTC. Slowly but surely, we are returning Luna Classic back to where it once was. So Luna Classic, Luna Burn, and Luna Classic. That's absolutely amazing. So TerraSwap is working again. That's awesome. To see now we have this big post here that's been the biggest question for the last couple of days here and that is talking about this thing here so CZ the CEO of Binance once said here this isn't even implemented on the Luna blockchain right uh, that should happen first no so this is the question somebody asked him uh, when are they going to implement the one product is action burn he said the first problem is Luna it's not even uh, implemented in the blockchain so why should he do it first that's the whole point. Now, the next step is for us to actually implement it. So what happened with the implementation? We've been approved and TFL is helping Terra Rebels to actually implement the new code. And once that happens, then it is going to be, like I said, implemented on the blockchain. So then CZ should be able to actually enable that burn on the Binance exchange platform. And if that happens, if you actually go and measure, if you actually go here to the volume, we can see that basically Binance still has here the biggest volume and we're gonna burn 1.2% of like 9 million here like I said the volume right now is pretty low but like like I said if I, I do believe that once we stop stabilizing the volume is going to increase again so we have to be just patient about that so that's amazing that's really good news uh, I I do believe the CZ will do it. Why? Because he's been saying that he will do something like this in the future. Because he wants to help the community here of Terra Luna and Terra Luna Classic. That's the whole point. Now, let's go check out the chart. Let's see what's been happening. Like I said, we did have like a massive dip here, but pretty much people did buy the dip. So a lot of little holders did buy the dip here. We did pump up and then we started to stabilize here too the sideways now the biggest thing that's been happening is actually well bitcoin and ethereum so both the coins have still continued here to go up but is this uh like a fake bullish moment will we stop somewhere and get rejected that is the question uh ethereum here has been soaring we're at two thousand dollars here for ethereum we're back to some higher prices here it's going to start to stabilize here again is this it of the bear run basically are we starting the bull run again if ethereum continues to go up the whole point is here with ethereum that uh, ethereum 2.0 is coming and because ethereum 2.0 is coming uh people have been buying and buying and buying but i do believe after it's enabled after we do upgrade to ethereum 2.0 that basically it's going to go down because there's no reason for people to buy anymore because there's no hype around it right now we do have hype because people are waiting for the update but what's the once the update is finished there's a massive chance that it will go down that is something that could happen here to well basically terra uh 
Ethereum here. Buy, uh, Bitcoin here will do the exact same thing because I do believe that Bitcoin is going up also because of Ethereum. Because we're still stabilized, we should be continuing here to go up a little bit, but all depends again on what's going to happen to Ethereum. Stabilization is key right now. As you can see, Luna Classic, even though both of these coins, Ethereum and B Ethereum and Bitcoin are going up, Terra is still just moving to the sideways. Not too many big things happening, but hopefully in the future, we're going to see some big moves because of the latest updates and latest upgrades. But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you didn't mean search me, if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.